Welcome to the Presmac Rugby Complex with a weather adjusted game starting on Friday afternoon today. Navy versus Queens University. First half just started. Nice pass to Ronan Krieger. Navy recycles out to the right. Landon up into the 22. Navy goes in for the ruck. Queen's able to retain possession. Line out for Navy. Forecasted weather here in Annapolis. A little bit of a tropical cyclone cyclone coming through the Chesapeake Bay so the game was uh, moved from Saturday to Friday afternoon. Navy with a line out they're able to retain possession. Mall set. Strong carry. Navy recycles out to the left. Ben Haw. He's able to dance out of a tackle. Navy's support is there to ruck over. Queen's not really contesting the ruck out to William Webb. He takes it into contact. And the ref calls a penalty on Navy for holding on. Yeah, not really seen called by the ref here. Uh, we gotta convert in your 22. These, uh, these penalties are very punishing, very punishing. We're joined again this afternoon by Lewis Gray, Second Lieutenant Lewis Gray. Thanks for joining us, Lewis. No, for sure. It's always a good time. Uh, we got Josh Schwartz from Queens throwing in the line out. Good throw. Decent hands out to the left. Kick by the scrum half. Landon Op takes it. Breaks through an arm tackle. kick from Queens. Looks like it'll stay inbounds to A.B. Gantz. Back out to Landon Op in the middle of the field. And looks like it's straight out. It'll be a line out to Queens. Landon Opp looking right on the 50. 50. Yeah. Landon Opp looking for the 50-22 right there. Misjudges the kick and it goes straight out. Yeah, these last minute wing gusts can be all the difference in getting that nice accurate 50 22 to be a favorable outcome. Overthrow by Queens. Tanner Russell's able to break through. Looks like he's isolated. Let's see if he can hold it up. He's able to recycle it back to Aiden Gerber. He holds it up in contact. Navy's able to retain possession. Ben Haw to the captain. Out to Tanner Russell. He breaks through a tackle, and he's able to touch it down. Try, Navy, Tanner Russell. Yeah, Ben Hall with 22 uh, offloads last game. Offloads, super hard to defend. You can see right there you can get punished if your uh, defensive support's not with you. Yeah, all about getting your hands free in contact. Seeing if you can offload the ball. Either direction, Navy forwards doing a great job there, getting their hands free and offloading. I think that, I don't remember the order, but it was basically Haw, Gerber, Russell, able to connect there, ultimately ending up in Tanner Russell with a try. Yeah, Krieger steps up to the plate. Nice strong wind gust. Let's see if he can adjust the kick and make it. Krieger judges it perfectly, and it goes through the uprights. Conversion is good. Navy's up 7-0 in the seventh minute. You know, these environmental conditions, those kick for points can be all the difference.
Queens with the restart. They go to the left right on the 22. True Boblitz with a carry. Ha, D'Amico. Maybe retains possession to up. He looks for the kick. Bobble in contact there, knock on. It'll be Queens ball, scrum down to Queens. Yeah, it looks like Ops saw the overload, looking for the run out option, but it didn't work out. Scrum Queens. Crouch by and set the call by the ref. Ref gives a penalty to uh, Queens. Quick tap and go. Navy sets their defense. Out to the right by Queens. They're trying to put it out wide. Show and go by the, uh, the Queens fullback. Back to the left. Queen's running a very dynamic offense right now. See how Navy will defend it. Back out to the right. Navy's defense comes up. Ref calls knock on by each side. First knock on by Queens. It'll be a scrum down to Navy. Yeah, it looks like we have a couple disconnects in the Navy defense that Queens is really exploiting right now. It's a good uh, pressure relief right now for Navy to get the scrum. Referee sets the scrum. It'll be Navy's put in. Crouch mindset. Navy with a put in there, push back a little bit. Ben Haw with the pick. He's tackled in the backfield. Ref awards the penalty to Queens for Navy holding onto the ball. Tap and go. Out to the left. And a knock on as the Queens winger has space out wide. He had some open space to the try line, but he's not able to control the ball. He knocks it on. It'll be a Navy scrum. A nice lucky break for Navy right there. He was right through to the try line. First bit of sustained pressure for uh, Navy in their end. Let's see if they can clear. Much better scrum on that on that one. They're able to provide a solid platform. Clearance kick is pretty good. It'll be a line out to Queens on the 22. Navy gains a little bit of breathing room on that clearance kick. Yeah, great kick from Lennon off to relieve some pressure there. You have to think Navy's uh, philosophy here is just to kind of take advantage of the space when they can, minimize the losses from the uh, the wind. Queens with them all. Stopped once. They're still driving.
Queens picks and go off the side. Out to the strong side. Queens bobbles it. Ref says it goes backwards. Broken play. Navy providing some defense. It's going to come out to the right again. Another little bobble by Queens there, but they're able to recover it. Pick and go right off the ruck. It's bobbled. He kicks it. Back into Queens 22. Step by Queens. He's tackled. Box kick. Straight out of bounds off the box kick. It'll be a line out where he kicks it from. Really strong wind gust coming in here. Navy just needs to make it to the half and they'll have a big advantage with this win. Queens with a steal and the bobble, they lose contact on the steal. Good tackle by Navy. Coach looked like it was good, but referee's bringing it back to the, I believe, knock on from Navy there. Interesting call. I'm not sure that Navy actually touched the ball in that line out. Out. Scrum down for Queens. Uh, Navy there. Queens sets up the mall. Queen's begging for some side entry calls here. Slowly they're making their Queen's way forward. Queen's high in the mall. They produce the ball. They put it out wide. It gets knocked on in the tackle. It'll be a scrum down to Navy. Looked like a little bit of tractor trailer going on on that mall they were uh they were kind of weaving all over the field yeah i'm a back by trade can't comment a lot on the, the forward movements there but but another navy scrum queens with a lot navy's, of simple ball handling error so. navy's offense all lined up on the uh the open side the strong side Navy's put in. Strong push. It comes out to Krieger. He steps, takes it into contact. Gets some good go forward. Out to the right. McClaney's out again. Op kicks. Opposite field kick. It hits the ground, bops up. For the Queens defender. It bounces in play and then goes out of bounds. It'll be a line out to Navy. Decent field position gain for Queens on that kick. Yeah, it's hard to score when you're not even in your half. The fullback from Queens doing really well at relieving pressure and getting the ball to stay in Navy's half. Navy able to tip it backwards. They maintain possession. McClaney brings it out to the right to D'Amico. A little bit of a seatbelt tackle there. Ref doesn't see it. Straight back to Op. He kicks. Straight back. Held up in the air a little bit. Queens recovers it. They swing it out wide to the left. Navy's defense comes up. It comes out in the tackle. Krieger is able to recover it. Should be a knock-on advantage. Webb with a carry. McClaney comes back to the weak side. 
Pops it out to uh, Von Schmitz. He drags the defender along. McClaney recycles to Ha. Little bit of high. Ref brings it back. We'll see if it's a penalty or a knock-on advantage. He hasn't indicated. He's, he's bringing it back for a knock-on advantage. It'll be a scrum down to Navy. Yeah, referee giving Navy a lot of wiggle room there. Yeah, I definitely lost track of uh, when that knock-on occurred. Navy with a full attack on the open side. J.D. Bankson getting a little width here. Navy with a put in. Queens with a knock on. Navy's fortunate there was a knock on there. They had that, that kick, and then the ball was picked up by a uh, Navy player in an offside position. I was uh, half surprised that wasn't a penalty against Navy. Yeah, Navy needs to hold that strong base, and then uh, McClaney needs to pull out that ball fast at nine. Another scrum to Navy. They put it in. They get it out. Stable platform. Krieger up. Bob Litz, He's got some space. He gets it out to Gantz, but the ref calls it a forward pass. It'll be a scrum down to Queens. Ref sees a forward pass. Yeah, forward pass called there. Navy fans do not agree with this call as well. Navy fans are very versed in the, uh, the laws of rugby here. I just, see, I just think they see it from their perspective, Lewis. That's true. Very objective perspective here. It'll be Queen's foot in. Scrum is set. Navy fullback in 10, sitting deep, watching for Weak the kick. Weak side. He kicks it up. Op is back. Clean catch. Low driving kick. Queens is able to catch it. McClaney is back. He sends it out to the right to Gantz. Gantz is able to recycle it off to Gerber. Boblitz, he's able to hold it up in contact. Navy's able to get their support in place. D'Amico. Queens with two Straight props back on the outside. to Krieger. He kicks it. And the Queens fullback calls for a mark. Yeah, after a few phases, the Navy uh, Navy attack needs to really uh, watch that. Oh, ball back in play. Paul with a carry. Lost forward on a pick and go. Ref calls a knock on. Looks like it'll be a scrum down to Queens. 28 minutes into the first half, the score is Navy 7, Queens 0. Yeah, if you play, if you pay uh, close attention to the Queens defense here, after a few phases, their props get sat on the outside. Navy really needs uh, to open their eyes on attack and see if they can manipulate that and exploit the gaps on the outside. Navy hasn't had much opportunity in the attacking third. They've been playing in their half of the field for the most part. Maybe a little bit of possession in Queen's half, but we'll have to see what Navy can do in Queen's half of the field. 
and the ref pulls it back for an obstruction. He calls a penalty. The Navy fans demanding an obstruction call, and they have got what they wished for. Ask and you shall receive. Up with a kick. Navy with its second full opportunity inside Queens 22. Nice attacking platform here. Will Webb will have the line out. Jake Bedia gets a call from Will. Paul with the carry, or with the catch. Samal. They get a decent carry. Krieger with a carry. Navy right on the try line. Let's see what Queen's defense can do here. Ben Hall runs a short ben side Hall and gets a try. A nice carry, try Navy, Ben Hall. Nice pick and go by Ben Ha there. Yeah, there's some good rugby IQ from Ben Ha there. Uh, Queens was expecting him to go up the open side like Navy usually does, and then he switches directions to the short side on the pick and go and scores. Yeah, it looks like Queens, Queens' philosophy on defense inside their own 20, inside their own 22, is not to contest the mall. So in order for uh, in order for the line out to form a mall, you need a player from both sides to be in the mall. Navy committing the players. Queens not committing. Krieger with a conversion. And he's able to bend it back in. That conversion is good. In the 30th minute, Navy 14, Queens 0. Queens with a restart, they kick it deep. It bounces in the field of play and goes out. It'll be a line out to Navy. Inside their own 22. Yeah, it looked like the Navy wing was hoping it would go out there, but it was very close to call line out There's maybe. Definitely some coaching there from his uh, from his teammates telling him to let it go. It looked like it was close, but it bounces in the field of play. Navy forms the mall. Queens commits. They've get Navy gets a decent push. They're still pushing forward. Navy goes to pull the ball out, comes out to Haw. He takes it in, swings it out to uh, Op. He steps. Navy with the support there. Straight back for Krieger. He kicks it. Queens catches it. He's able to stay in bounds. Decent kick. Another kick by Krieger. All the way back in the 22. That's going out for 50, a 50-22. Fantastic Krieger. kick. Great kick by Ronan Krieger for a 50-22. That'll be an attacking line out for Navy. Rules of rugby. If Navy kicks it on their half of the field... And it goes beyond the 22-meter line and goes out of bounds. The Navy gets the line out. Navy's able to drive it, and they get the try. Try Navy. 
Jacob Diamico scores a try in the 33rd minute. Navy 19, Queen 0. Yeah, Queen's looking to ask for the obstruction there because they didn't uh, compete on the mall. But when you don't compete on the mall in your own 22 defensively, it's, uh, it's a recipe for disaster because they just break off and uh, score like they just did. Yeah, Queens has been pretty consistent. They'll compete them all anywhere else on the field, but inside their own 22, they're not competing. Yeah, they should realistically do the opposite, if anything. Krieger steps up for the conversion. Ronan Krieger wearing the number 12 shirt today. Usually he has been back at the 15, but maybe switching things up, moving him in, into inside center. His kick is straight through the uprights. Navy 21, Queen 0. Field position has generally been back and forth for uh, Queens and Navy. Navy has made the most of their uh, forays into Queen's side of the field. Pretty efficient, and they're able to put three tries on the board. Queens with a restart. Come short, Bob Litz carries, takes it immediately into contact. McLean brings it out to the left to Haw. He takes it into contact. Looks like an ops dropping back into the pocket. McLean with a box kick into Queen's side of the field. He's met strongly. Navy's defense comes up, fire the call. They call, the ref calls a penalty. Not sure what happened there. A little bit of confusion about whether the ref was going to let that tap and go play. Navy backs up. Ball squirts out. Navy recovers it. Austin Taylor on the ball. He stays up. Navy able to recover. They recycle it out to the left. Ha. Krieger. Grubber kick through. Over to J.D. Bankston. He offloads it to Russell. Into up. Champagne rugby. Landon up with a try. Fantastic offloads. Beautiful play. Krieger with a grubber kick. J.D. Bengston catches it, offloads it. A few inside offloads. Up takes the ball into the try zone. Dots it down for the try. Beautiful play there. Yeah, that was a team try right there. Ronan Krieger recognizing the wing, shooting up there and kicking it through. It was an absolutely excellent play. Great play by J.D. Bankston as well, catching that ball in contact and immediately offloading it inside. Two or three offloads in contact, close contact. It's fantastic. Ronan Krieger steps up to the plate with a nice wing gust. Let's see if he can make it here. Krieger with another conversion kick. Navy 28, Queen 0, 37th minute of the first half. Restart by Queens. Does not go 10. They catch it. It'll be a scrum down to Navy at midfield. Navy generally with the uh, the split setup on offense, two 
on one side, four on the other. Yeah, Queen's trying to communicate how to defend this setup while also maintaining that backfield defense. Ref resets it. Looks like Queens is running three up in the line. They have both their wingers soft and fullback sitting in midfield here. Crouch spine set. McClaney with a put in. Ref calls a penalty on the scrum for Queen standing up. Maybe gets lucky there. That put in was not great. Looked like they kind of kicked the ball forward over to Queens, but they're standing up as they're trying to drive forward over the ball. Penalty for Navy. Looks like that might, that kick might stay in. It does. Krieger up on defense. Vaughn Schmidt stands him up. That ball might stay in. It does not. It goes out right there. It'll be a line out to Navy. About 10 seconds till the half sub. Let's see. Referee checks the clock. Looks like it's about to be the final play. Jake Badia relaying the call to Billy and Webb. Navy with a line out at the end of the uh, half. Von Schmitz catches it. Will Webb with a carry around. He takes it strong into contact. McLaney recycles it back out to the right to D'Amico. Bidia in support, like back out to the left. Props on the Pop. outside there. J.D. Bankston, he takes it in. It goes backwards. No, it does not go backwards. Ref judges it as a knock-on, and he calls the half. At halftime here in Annapolis, Navy 28, Queen 0. Great first half of rugby here in Annapolis. Navy heads into the locker room. Queen stays on the field. Navy will have the wind at their backs in the second half. Come back and join us. We'll talk to you. Yeah, Queen. Very special student athlete spotlight this week as I'm joined by seniors Jamie and Jordan Llewellyn, both great twins on the volleyball team. And Jamie, we'll start with you. Growing up, who was your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete was Jordan Larson. I remember watching her as as I grew up and just like being amazed at how good of a player she was and just inspired by her. Jordan, if you weren't going into the service, what would your dream job be? I always wanted to be a firefighter, kind of. Why? Uh, I don't know. It, it seemed pretty cool, and there was like a lot of movies when I was growing up on firefighters, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and it's serving. I always wanted to serve. I always wanted to be in the FBI, but I, I watched Criminal Minds, and it was just really cool watching them solve very cases. If you could have lunch with anyone in the world, living or dead, who would it be? Louis Sanfrini. Um, he's a PMW in World War II, and he was a track athlete. And I just, I watched Unbroken, and I also read the book. And I remember being so, like, taken aback by how strong his mental fortitude was and just how good a person he was in general. Um, probably Zach Efron. <laughs> just because I watch High School Musical, and, like, I've always wanted to meet him, so... Are you the type of person alone in the car, karaoke to breaking free? Uh, so yeah, yeah, I would sing that song. In the car. <laughs> so. On the subject of music, what is your favorite pregame hype song? Okay, this is really controversial because I like I don't really like hype up music. I like more of like Jack Johnson or like country songs. So. Very like mellow songs. Um, I like Cape Deck by Jack Johnson. We're about to find our Zen ladies. Pick up your whiteboards, and I'm going to ask you, Jordan. 
Maker's is Robin? Yeah, it's from what's in, what's in the reason. Oh, Secret of Maker. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little, I don't think crush on that guy. So. From where? Um, the Secret of the Maker. Oh. Yeah. It's like a very. It's an odd movie. It's an odd movie. It's a deep cut. <laughs> you reached. You reached. Yeah. Okay. How about one more about you? Okay. Wait, is that yours? Is that what we're yours was? Yeah. No way! You never said that one time. We're learning a lot about each other here. Only something to one side of the thing. Jordan, what is Jamie's dream vacation? You better, not you, right on this you better get this one right, because I'm not really talking about this so many times. I know, but I can't think of the place. Are you serious? This is, this is a bad thing. She's able, um, she's not afraid to stand up for what she plays in. And this is the student athlete spotlight. Ben. Yes. If you didn't play rugby, what sport would you play? Wrestling, honestly. I, I came to the Naval Academy to try a new sport. Right? That's a big reason why I thought I'd try rugby. And we've had a few sessions with the wrestling team, and I kind of like that. That, uh, that physical aspect of that game was well, combat sport. I think it would be pretty interesting. What is the ultimate pregame hype song? Pregame hype song? So we listened to If I Had a Heart. It's a little bit of a Viking war song. Um, we usually play it about five minutes before we run out of the field after our warm-up. It's uh, a Viking man and a Viking woman harmonizing. It's a little throaty, but it gets everyone ready to go to war. Give it a listen, If I Have a Heart, by Fever Ray. I'm a big grunge, 
big grunge fan, Seattle grunge, Alice in Chains, uh, Pearl Jam, Nirvana as well. Some of the boys might not like it, like it in the locker room, but uh, they're going to listen to it anyway. How could they not like them bones? Oh, I'm a big fan of them bones. <laughs> Who is your role model then? My role model is my dad, uh, without a doubt. He's, he's one of those guys, and maybe he'll watch this, maybe he won't. But um, don't tell him I said that. But uh, he, he's one of those guys who everything I do, I always think about what would he have done in this situation. What's your nickname? Well, if you've ever seen The Boys on HBO, a lot of people on my team call me Homelander. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I accept it. Uh, you can ask some of those guys why I got the nickname. I'm not really sure, but on the team, I often get called Homelander. So I can see why. <laughs> All right. What has been your proudest moment as a mid? Uh, my proudest moment as a mid was being named as team captain this year. Uh, it's honestly probably my proudest moment of my life. Um, being able to carry on the legacy of all those uh, those warriors who've gone before us and upheld what, what we're trying to uphold and being able to pass that torch to the next class, it's, it's my job and my burden to make sure that I leave it in a better place than it was this year. So. You're majoring in ocean engineering, and you were ranked number 77 in Military Order of America in your class. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I actually want to be a professional pickleballer when I grow up. I'm hoping to make it to the leagues. Um, I've been playing a bunch with uh, Landon Ops, some of my teammates, Coach Willex, Carrie, our trainer. Um, working on my craft. In terms of the military, if that's what you're asking, I'm, I'm still in between a few. I'm between uh, Marine Corps ground, hopefully maybe the infantry, or explosive ordnance disposal, bomb technicians. So those are my two options going into this fall. Some Navy fans might not know this, but in the national championship game, you took a nasty hit to the forehead, full speed forehead to forehead contact. And when the final whistle blew, you had sunglasses and an ice pack on your head. How did you celebrate that night? Ah, uh, well, I walked off the, the pitch, and of course, our alumni at the game were on the field before any of the actual players were celebrating. I had one person on my left shoulder, one person on my right shoulder, making sure I was walking straight. I uh, took a few pictures, didn't really remember much, went straight to the bar, went back, and fell asleep in my uniform. We're back underway here in Annapolis. Quick penalty against Navy to start the half. Wind will be at their back this half. We'll see what Navy can do with that. Queens drop it back in the pocket. Short kick, hits the ground, bounces over Ops head. He's able to break one tackle, kicks it, drops in between the defenders. Favorable bounce. Queen's able to maintain possession. They recycle it out to the left. They're able to offload it in contact. Ben Hall on the tackle. 
Box kick by, and it's charged down. Krieger is able to catch it. Nice kick by Op. Nobody, nobody at home for Queens. They're in the back, it goes straight out. It'll be a line out to Navy. Just outside their 22. Favorable spot by the line judge. Starting to feel a little bit like fall here in Annapolis. A little bit chilly, definitely breezy. Von Schmitz catches the line out. Over to McLaney. Quick pass to Ben Haw. He's able to break free. Breaks a tackle. Dots the ball down. Try Navy Ben Haw in the 44th minute. Great job off that line out. They get a quick ball out to the middle of the field. Ben Haw able to break a tackle and take it into the try zone. Nice show and go from Ben Haw there. Navy line out putting a forward against a back. It's only a favorable outcome for Ben Hall, the back rower. Krieger drills the conversion. The fans Navy. cheering for our uh, our resident athletic trainer, Kerry Carmack, who's doing a great job treating our midshipmen out here today. Score, Navy 35, Queen 0 in the 45th minute. Wind seems to have died down a little bit here, not as strong as the first half, but Navy still utilizing those kicks to gain some territory. Queens making a sub. Looks, looks like uh, one of Queens' locks is coming off. High kick. Alaman with a carry. He offloads it to Boblitz. He's able to get around the corner. Let's see what he can do. He offloads it, but Queens is able to intercept the offload. Ref calls it in from the side. Penalty. Good job by Boblitz out, out on the side, dancing through some tackles. Just not able to find Navy hands on that offload. Boblet's really dynamic out on the outside, though. Boblet's might have been in touch there, but he does a fantastic job dancing on the sideline. That's been two or three weekends in a row where we've seen him on this near side edge close to us. Borderline not straight on that line out. Bobbles it in context. Russell catches the uh, the bobble. High around the neck on that. Yeah, very high on the way down there. Referee didn't see. Boblitz with the kick chase. Ref calls a tackle off the ball. Queens player had his hands on that ball, though. I don't know how you change your mind mid-tackle when a player goes up to catch the ball and doesn't. Yeah, referee not too happy with the timing there on the on the, um, the hit. If it was just a fraction earlier, you probably would have got away with that one. Yeah, I don't know. I I think that's a legitimate hit. Like he he bobbles it. I don't know how you change your mind mid tackle. Yeah, for sure. It just when a tackle looks solid and no one has the ball, referee I mean, has a bias towards it. Maybe the maybe he holds him in the tackle a little bit too long. Yeah, Maul wheeling around a lot here. Yeah, um, Queens with them all. They get some good go forward on it. Not a very square push, but they're still able to recycle around. Great tackle by Boblitz there. 
great read by Bobowitz to come back to the short side after recognizing the Queen's attack. Yeah, he sees him moving, changing the point of attack, and he's quick to get around on that side. Navy, good job with the fold. They provide the inside ball. Navy quick to cover. Yeah, inside the 22, though. To have a fighting chance here. A little bit of a knock on there. Ref calls a knock on by Navy. That's that's interesting. I would have thought it was a knock on by Queens in that initially, but the ref calls knock on against Navy. Yeah, lucky break from Queens here again. Um, Queens going to have to really uh, score here to, to have a fighting chance back in this game 47 minutes in. Queens offense stacked on the strong side. Navy's defense mirrors. Landon Ob sitting kind of close to the boot here behind the scrum, so he's able to react if they do run short side last minute. Queens with a put in. Bounces off the hooker's foot, but they're able to maintain possession. Comes out. Another bobble in the midfield. Krieger recovers it. I think the saying is, the ball don't lie. Good strong carry by Austin Taylor. Straight back to Op. He kicks it, it goes deep, nice deep kick. Bounces into the 22, stops right outside the try line. Their chase is right there. That ball does go straight out. It'll be a line out to Navy. Great territory advantage with that kick game by Navy. Yeah, that was a great clearance kick from uh, Queens under pressure there to relieve uh, the strong Navy kick chase. Ref talks to Navy's bench. Not sure what he was talking to the bench about. Von Schmitz carries. Queens takes him down. Little pop to Austin Taylor. Looks like he didn't release the tackler there. Uh, referee sees different, gives the not holding call favor to Queens University. Penalty to Queens. Queens line out. Bobbled. Out to the right. Into the fly half. Forward mix in the back. He's pushed backwards. Not able to get his hands free. He's on the ball. And it's a penalty to Navy. Not releasing. Good job by Navy's poach there. Yeah, that was a great grab from Krieger there. Landed out with a kick. Line out to Navy. Good catch, pop out to Webb. He's able to get around the corner with a strong carry. McClaney dis distributes out to the right to D'Amico. Out to the right again. Alamon, Op, Gantz, Boblitz. He breaks through one tackle. He gets held up by the other. Back inside, Austin Taylor. Good coverage. Spins it out wide to Ha. Ha stands it up in the tackle. Continues out to the left. Krieger 
a little bit of back shoulder, but he's able to maintain possession. Out to Will Webb. He takes it in. Queen's doing their best to slow down the, the ball here. Navy wants to play a high up-tempo offense here. McLean, he gets it out. Quick hands. I don't know about that one. Looked like, looked like Navy was trying to distribute the ball out wide. Ball hits Queens on the distribution. But the ref calls a knock on by Navy. Uh, Offloading is a very uh, effective offensive strategy here, but if you live by the sword, you're going to die by it, so you just got to be ready and uh, know that it's a high-risk, high-reward maneuver and uh, movement there. Yeah, we got the advantage of perspective up here. Refs down on the field with the players. A lot more difficult for him to see it. Ball squirts out the back. He goes to clear it. It's high. Ops under it. He goes up. He takes it up. Queens player pulls up limp on the uh, kick chase. Krieger with the show and go. Stiff arm. He drops it behind him. D'Amico dances through the tackle, but the ref brings it back. Yeah, it looks like D'Amico hit the referee there, and he had to stop the play. Gives a scrum like back to Navy. Looks like he's giving the scrum to Navy, though. Looks like a Queens player pulled up, pulled up lame on that kick chase. Either turned an ankle, pulled a hamstring, non-contact. Yeah, in the kick chase, he looked like he got stepped a little bit, uh, maybe strained his hamstring tendon there. Navy has the same side out in the second half that they had in the first. No no subs, no changes. Queens looks like they've only made one sub so far. We're in the uh, 54th minute of the match. It'll be a scrum, attacking scrum to Navy. Right in the midfield. They're split on both sides. J.D. Bankston lined up immediately behind the scrum. McClaney puts it in. Stable platform. They get it out wide. He's able to maintain control of it. Spins through one tackle. He's held up in another, but he's still driving his legs, keeping him through. Out to the right, Will Webb. Badia catches a tip pass from Will Webb. It's out to the right again. McLaney shows it and continues. Pick and go. Advantage hands in the ruck there to Navy. Not releasing. Let's see if Sean McClain will go for the tap and go. Looks like it was not releasing by Queens in that tackle. I mean, he didn't even hit the ground yet, and they were still holding on to the ball. Navy chooses a scrum here, looking to drive it into the try line. Nice attacking scrum right on the five-meter line for Navy. Again, Navy splits it on both sides. Nice and flat. Paul with the pick. McClady with the show and go. He dummies the ball, and he's able to take it to the inside. Drop the ball down. Try Navy, McClaney. (laughs) 
Sean McLaney with the try in the 56th minute. Navy 40, Queen 0. Yeah, you really got to watch out for McLaney closer to the try line there. He did that in the national championship game against Cal. Very successful. I think he did that twice against Cal. Once here, once in the national championship game. Same play. Dummy takes it inside, drops the ball down. Sometimes you got to let try. the scrum half get a little glory. Usually they're providing that last pass every once in a while. You got to give it to them. Krieger with a conversion. It's good. Navy 42, Queen 0. Queens with a restart, they go deep. Gerber carries, takes it strongly into contact. Straight back to Op, he, uh, he goes for the kick. It's deep over the defender's head. Great kick, not quite a 50-22, but it definitely pins Queens deep right outside their 22. It'll be a line out to Queens. Overthrow by Queens. They're able to maintain possession though. Queens forward carries. They drop it back for the clearance kick. It's charged Beautiful down. Beautiful charge on by Vaughn Smith. Uh, it and on? it's bobbled. Knock forward. Navy's crowd screaming for downward pressure on that ball. Looks like he just barely knocked it forward. But it is a knock forward. A Queens player is down after that line out. All Schmitz had to do there was let that ball go into the uh, try zone and then touch the ball down. He tries to pick it up and then put the ball down, unfortunately. And there's a little bit of a bobble and a knock on there. Yeah, that's every that's It'll every be a board stream right there. Scrum down two queens just outside of their try zone. Yeah, that's what these locks these days dream about. A nice charge down, but couldn't finish the job. Von Schmitz. Navy subs staying warm on the side. Imagine we'll start seeing a few subs coming into the game. Queens with a strong push. They drop it back, straight back for the clearance kick. Nice high clearance kick. Op considers the, uh, the quick throw on the line out. Decides to hold on to it instead. It'll be a Navy line out just outside the 22. Or right at the 22. Looks like Navy has two subs getting ready to come in. Michael Catalao and Ed Soder. One front row sub and the other somewhere in the back row. Navy able to maintain possession of that line out. They bring it out. Nice switch dummy play there. A knock on by McLeany, trying to pick the ball up off the ground. It'll be a scrum to Queens. Navy brings in the bomb squad, Michael Kalalau and Edmund, 20 and 17. See what they can do here. Let's see if they can bring up the tempo. Gerber and Badio with an excellent showing this game. Some well needed rest. Aiden Gerber and Jake Betty are coming off. Ed Soder and Michael 
Kalalau coming in for Navy for their first changes of the match. That clearance kick stays in play. Comes out wide to Gantz. He keeps it in hand. Jake Alman, stiff arm, takes it into contact. Navy supporters right there. McClaney to the left. Austin Taylor breaks one tackle, keeps on running. He's got support with him. They try to offload it. It's bobbled in the offload. Queens has the ball. They go to clear it. Surprising the ref doesn't stop it for the knock on. Looks like he decides they kick away the advantage off of the ball. He offloads it to Howe. Haw. He tries to get it out, but there's a penalty there. Don't do that to him. Yeah, kind of a late hit there to Landon Opp, number 10. Uh, athletic trainer Kerry Carmack makes her way onto the pitch to see if he's all right. Ref is talking to the Queens captain. Cade Williams getting ready to come in for 10 if he has to. Looks like they're pulling out Landon Opp. No need to push him more. 61 minutes into the game, he's done the job. Great job. Great, up, great opportunity to get uh, Cade Williams some some minutes here as well. Yeah, it's great Ops to get done some fantastic. Great to get some young guys experience in, uh, in the real world here against uh, some strong sides like Queens. Line out, throw to Schmitz. He catches. Queens contesting the mall now. They get it out wide. They go weak side. J.D. Bankston has it. He puts the ball down. Try Navy. J.D. Bankston. Navy with the mall. Pulls the ball out of the mall and goes weak side. McLeany draws in for a two-on-one, and he's able to get the defender to bite on him, and he distributes out wide to J.D. Bankston. Temperature's dropped quite a bit in the last hour or two. It's getting a little bit chilly. Krager Senior Nick Janowski makes his way onto the pitch, number 23. Krieger stays perfect on the afternoon with the conversion. Navy 49, Queen 0 in the 64th minute. Nick Janowski, not only a strong senior coming in, but also company commander for 22nd Company in the Brigade. Short kick. Schmitz is able to recover it. Straight back. Cade Williams with a kick. It's deep in the center. Queens recovers. Another clearance kick back. Hits McLaney. He's able to catch it. Out wide to Cade Williams. And Navy Gantz. J.D. Bankston takes it into contact. Around the neck with a tackle. No call by the ref. D'Amico with the inside pass to Haw. Austin Taylor. Great offload to D'Amico. D'Amico hurdles someone. He's isolated, though. Bump off play by Krieger. He's able to take it through contact. Support is there. Navy just outside Queens try zone. Looks like they're setting up some uh, forward pick and go play here. Yeah, Queens trying to blow up the rucks here to give them a different look on the attack. Navy pops it. Support is still there. Another pick and go potentially. Right 
Looks like Navy might pull it out to the backs. They get it out. Cade Williams. A.V. Gantz. Out to Nick Janowski, but the ref calls it a forward pass. Ref calls a forward pass. Referee calls the ball forward. Interesting call from the referee here. The sideline does not agree. Nikki J with his first try on his first touch, but the referee does take it back, sadly. Queens scrum. Navy brings some more subs in. Matt Richardson for Sean McClaney. It's like Reese Thacker is in for Austin Taylor. Ben Haw coming off as well. Ryan Ramondi coming in at flanker. Ed Soder switches over to eight. Yeah, the strength of a rugby team is really in their depth with a very young team out here for the last 20 minutes of the game. It's going to be interesting to see how Navy will do. Yeah, definitely. Certainly can tell from the first few games, Navy interested in building depth off their bench. With the kick, it pops up for Gantz. He fields it, gets it out to Jake Aleman. He steps inside, takes it into contact. Navy support is there. Make Michael Callow with the carry. Richardson pulls it out. Krieger steps inside. Ramondi in support. D'Amico with another strong carry. Shoe string tackle by Queens defense. Will Rich Webb takes it into contact. Back out to the right. Callow catches it back shoulder. Immediately met. Richardson gets it out to Krieger, out to Cade Williams. He breaks through one tackle. Queens defender slips and Williams is able to break through. No defender back. And he brings it in for a try. Cade Williams try, Navy. Yes, co-commentator co Lewis Gray getting really excited to Apologies if he ends up in the uh, the live stream feed from standing up. Yeah, sorry for blocking the view there. Very excited to see what Cade Williams does here. Very good spatial recognition there. Breaks a line, scores a try. Navy 54, Trin <laughs> Queens nil. Krieger steps up for the conversion. He splits the uprights. The conversion by number 12, Rory Krieger is good. Navy 56, Queen 0 in the 68th minute. 69th minute. Queens with a restart. They go deep. Cade Williams catches it. Clearance kick. It bounces infield. Bounces high. Comes in. Janowski catches it. He offloads it to Ramondi. He's going down the line. Nice offload play to Von Schmitz. Ryan Ramondi is caught, but he's able to offload it. Von Schmitz bobbles it on the offload, but he's able to gather it in and runs around the edge. Drops it down in the center for a try, Navy. Von Schmitz on the try there. Fantastic job on the outside with the offloads. Yeah, great score from Von Schmitz there, but it all started from Nikki Janowski with the great take on the line. Beautiful offloads. Yeah, Navy definitely got lucky there. They go for the clearance kick. It stays in play, bounces up for Nick Janowski. He gathers it in, dances through one tackle. He's able to offload it. Ryan Romani goes for a nice 20-yard jaunt. He gets caught on the outside. Offloads it to Von Schmitz. Von Schmitz bobbles it, but he's able to gather it and take it around the edge, drop it down. Queens with a restart here. They kick it deep. Janowski nice catches it. Here. 
some alumni, Ryan Bullock. Takes it in between two Queens players. Richardson drops it back to Cade Williams. Cade Williams with a clearance kick, it's high. Queens fullback is back. Short grubber kick. Comes back to A.V. Gantz, he gathers it in. Steps one way, keeps on going. Dances around another player, offloads it to Ronan Krieger. He's immediately met. Richardson out to the right. Vaughn Schmitz going through contact. Back out to the right again, Cade Williams. A.V. Gantz, chip kick. Off the ref, let's see what he does here. Should be a scrum down to Navy since it was off the ref. A.B. A. B. Gantz tries to kick the ball in contact. Looks like it went off the ref. We'll see what the call is. Looks like he's giving the scrum down to Navy. Yeah, when the ball's really loose like that, it's hard for the referee to stay out of play, but unfortunately you have to give it back to the attacking team. Great to see an excellent performance from Navy here. Not only the players on the field, but the support staff, such as the coaching staff, officer representation from the Naval Academy, managers, including one of our uh, notable alumni, Jose Castro, class of 22, manager. Queens collapses the scrum. Navy's awarded the penalty. They debate the quick tap and go. They elect to hold on to the ball. Eight minutes, just under eight minutes left in the match. Navy up 63, Queen zero. Krieger kicks the ball out of bounds. Line out to Navy. Great one-hand grab by Vaughn Schmitz there. Tanner Russell, the big run. Great support from the attack. Matt Richardson looking to increase the tempo here and distribute it. Queens player catches Navy in the air. A little bit of a high pass there, and Thacker's caught immediately. Advantage given to Navy here. Let's see what they can do. Ronan Krieger goes for a kick in the try zone. Does he get it? It dribbles out the back, but Navy was playing with the advantage. Be a penalty to Navy. Offsides by Queens. Schmitz catches the line out. He's immediately sacked. Looks like that's Tanner Russell, who's able to keep the ball alive, but he's tackled over to Thacker. He drives forward. Nitschanowski maintaining his width on the wing here. Try Richardson and distributes out to Will Webb. He keeps his leg driving forward. Keeps the ball alive. Over to Ed Soder. He puts his head down. Comes out again to Krieger. He breaks one ankle tackle, and he's able to get the ball in. Try Navy, Ronan Krieger in the 75th minute. Krieger steps up for the conversion. He 
just drags it wide. Krieger with his first missed conversion of the day. Navy 68, Queens 0. Four and a half minutes left in the match. Queens with the reach guard, it goes deep. Cade Williams recovers, kicks it straight up into the stands. Solid clearance kick. Just on Navy's side of the field, they get a little bit of breathing room. Ryan hoteling into the match. Navy with a tap. It's knocked on, though. Stolen, but the ref brings it back for the knock on. That'll be a scrum down to Queens. Queens has been doing a solid job in the, job in the scrum all day today. Hoteling it's coming in at prop here. Call sign Hotes. Let's see what he can do. Queen's scrum, scrum has been pretty strong all day. Navy definitely looking to build depth in their pack. Certainly in their front row as well. Front row collapses. Ref resets it. Referee giving the scrum another opportunity. Crouch, bind, and set the call. Queens put in. Stable platform there. It's pulled out to the right. Queens crossfield kick. Gantz looks up, he goes up. Strong catch in the air. He dances around one defender. Will Webb. He offloads it. Queens recovers. Navy adventurous in the offload game there. Queens has possession. Met strongly by two Navy defenders. It's lost in the tackle. Hoteling with a carry. Goes straight back to Krieger. He kicks it. Low driving kick. Queens defenders there. He touches it. It's a knock on by Queens. He bobbles it just inside his own 22. Unfortunate error there for Queens. Navy's kick chase was quick. Queens defender not able to control that ball on the ground. He knocks it on a little bit. It'll be a scrum down to Navy. Seventy ninth minute of play here. Potential last strike for Navy. Let's see what they can convert again. Navy with a put in. Stable platform. Richardson goes to dig it out. Krieger first receiver. Pops it. He's met immediately. Nick Janowski met immediately. Turns it over to Queens. Queens playing with the ball on their own twenty two. Queens ball carrier bounces off a few Navy defenders, takes it to the 22, just outside their 22. Queens drops it back, clearance kick. It's high, hits the deck, bounces up for Gantz. Gantz and Cade Williams in the back. They take Gantz it forward. Gantz tuck the ball, see what you can do here. He squirts through, takes it into contact. Richardson distributes to the left. Reese Thacker takes it. 80th minute strikes. Let's see if that's the ball game. Ref calls offsides. Penalty to Navy. We're in the red time-wise here, but play continues for Navy since it's a penalty call.
Krieger elects to go for points. Krieger goes for points here to really put some lemon on the cut. Quite the call there by Lewis Gray. Lemon on the cut. Krieger steps up for the final final play of the match. Kicks up, and it's good. That's the match here in Annapolis. Navy 71, Queen 0. Great job by Navy's defense here today, turning in a shutout. Yeah, to think Navy's coaches will be happy with that result, especially after the uh, the match about it uh, against Indiana. Navy coaches talked about that as gifting Indiana 21 points. So turning around a week later and putting in a shutout, shutout performance they have to be happy with. Yeah, it's a great outcome for Navy's first conference game here. Holding the team down to zero is very difficult to do, especially in the Eastern Conference. Great performance on the Navy defense as well as the attack. Thanks for joining us on the live stream today here in Annapolis. We'll see you here in a few weeks for the, uh, the next match. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Hopefully the weather doesn't impact you.